Today we got four big stories we gotta dive into. Man, there's some crazy stuff going on right now. We have Nintendo working on partnerships with companies for their own IP for Nintendo Switch 2. That's right, we have to talk about game stuff in regards to Switch 2, which is always exciting, but we're not done there. Why? Oh, the Sony CEO. That's right. You know, Nintendo's number one rival is busy hyping up the Legend of Zelda movie because of course he is because Sony is working on it with Nintendo. We also have more games, including a massive game by Rare coming to a Nintendo system in the future, at least according to Jeff Grubb. And we're not done there because Masahiro Sakurai, the man, the myth, the legend is coming back. Well, to make games, we think, because he's ending his YouTube channel this year. Man, we got a lot to get into, so without further ado, I want to remind you, this video is sponsored by Timu, where you can head over to their website right now and get a $100 coupon bundle by typing in the search bar DKN3798. Pretty amazing stuff. I already have an account there. You get your trending items, you get your coupon bundle right down here. Enjoy that. Now, what I want to show you from Timu is some stuff that I have purchased recently. It's a great place to get a lot of cheap products. We got a nice little ugh, Timu package here. Let's go ahead and grab first up. We have, oh boy, for you Pokemon fans out there, how about a little, uh, a little Pokemon Charmander plush. Oh, baby. You know we're going to find a spot on the set for that one. Oh, we got some slime. This is actually a present for my children. I also got my kids a Marble Run Pipeline toy set. If you guys have ever played with these, you know how awesome they are. I also have uh, one of these flashing mouthpieces. Oh, let's stick, let's, let's stick this flashing mouthpiece in to see what happens. <laughs> More than that, I got a bag of these flying chickens because I just thought this would be really hilarious to fling at my kids. Let me show you that in action. Oh yeah, Charmander, why don't you take that? And then maybe the piece de la resistance of what I ordered from Timo lately is I needed a new power strip and we got this multi-functional power strip. We get a lot of household items at Timu toys a lot of fun for super cheap this thing looks extremely heavy duty here look at that all the usbs all the power and yes it comes with some instructions warranty information and all of that timu is just an excellent place to get a lot of products you would use around your house including some fun stuff as you saw absolutely for cheap prices so what are you waiting for head on over to timu to use that hundred dollar coupon bundle today <laughs> So Sony CEO Kenshiro Yoshida is super excited for the Legend of Zelda movie. And you know what? I can't blame him because so am I, right? Like, I'm, oh, I'm so hyped. Whew, okay, all right, let's calm down. Let's get to actually what he said. So he brought it up on stage at CES, and he simply stated that he is very excited for the movie, and it will deliver an amazing tale of adventure and discovery. Look, we're not going to get a lot of details on the Zelda movie until Nintendo and everyone else is ready to talk about it, right? They're only just starting to work on it. There might be a script done for it. I have no idea. We don't even know who the cast is, right? This movie's probably at least 2025, maybe a 2026 movie. We have no idea. It's not anytime soon, but it's just something to sort of throw out into the ether that, hey, we should expect news on the Zelda movie at some point. Now we talked about how there might be more Microsoft games coming to Nintendo Switch beyond the highly rumored Hi-Fi Rush. Now, Hi-Fi Rush has been raided in Australia for Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, so hey, that seems to be a pseudo confirmation of those rumors we were talking about that originated from Nate the Hate, but this doesn't seem to be the end because of this clip from Jeff Grubb. So, uh, the, 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 the it's like Sea of Thieves, right? I'll say I've, I've heard that that was one that might be coming to other platforms. That, so when I first started hearing these rumors, I was like, oh, this is probably about Sea of Thieves uh, because I've heard that could come to Switch and PlayStation uh, and, and may, maybe that might be the kind of thing where it's like, actually all of this stuff is happening and Microsoft is trying to like rejigger its strategy and that kind of comes back to the point that you were making that we should expect more of this. That's right, folks. Sea 
of Thieves is apparently coming to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, etc., etc. I don't really know how. I don't really know why. I don't really know what's going on. All I know is Rare, you know, Rare made a good game. And by the time we get Sea of Thieves on Nintendo Switch, it's going to be pretty exciting because the game is so full of content. It is an amazing experience, and I think it's going to fit right in with that Nintendo Switch slash Switch 2 audience. Also, by the way, you know who's probably most upset about this? Ubisoft, right? They have Skull and Bones coming out that was going to be on you know PlayStation and stuff, and Sea of Thieves people think is like a better version of Skull and Bones. And so, I, I look, I'm not here to make that comparison directly because hey, I played Skull and Bones beta, and I don't really think it feels like Sea of Thieves, but I get the comparison because they're both about pirates and boats and taking people out. So, whatever. Next, we get into probably our biggest story today. Oh man, this comes from GameIndustry.biz, and I'm so excited about it because it looks like Nintendo is partnering with at least three studios to work on Nintendo IP. So we're talking your Mario's, your Kirby's, your Zelda's, your Metroid, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Nintendo already does work with several partner companies, but they're looking to add even more, and it looks like they're trying to do it for Nintendo Switch 2 because this entire article at GameIndustry.biz was about. Nintendo Switch 2. Now here's the quote from GameIndustry.biz, Christopher Dring. I also know that Nintendo is actively meeting with independent developers to find new partners. Some of that is around publishing indie games, which Nintendo does from time to time. But it's also seeking studios that could work on some of its IP. Nintendo regularly works with third-party teams, including Bandai Namco, Team Ninja, Platinum Games, Mercury Steam, Way Forward, and Grezzo. But the company is looking to add to that roster, and I know of three studios that are in deep conversations around making games based on Nintendo's brands. And look, if we think about this, when Metroid Dread was made by Mercury Steam, that would have been one of those kind of indie studios, and Metroid Dread was up for game of the freaking year. So these partnerships are a huge deal. Nintendo trying to find the right partners to work on specific things. Now, I think for a top-down Zelda, Nintendo would just work with Grezzo, but what if they're looking for a team to make top-down Zelda games all the time? Yeah, maybe Grezzo isn't the team for that then, and they want somebody else. Maybe they want a different team working on side-scrolling Kirby, so then they could take the main Kirby team and they can work on the 3D Kirby games. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe they're trying to find better partners for Pokemon remakes. I don't know. I know that'd be on the Pokemon company, but Nintendo is heavily involved in that stuff. Maybe they're looking for stuff for Mario, or maybe they're just looking at other IPs. Maybe they want to bring F-Zero back, and so they're looking at studios that maybe make racing games. I'm just throwing out there that Nintendo could be doing anything, and it gets me really excited that they're trying to expand the amount of games they have coming up. Nintendo's slate of games is utterly insane already, and with this conversation now being started by Christopher Dring based on his sources, this now gets me even more excited for Nintendo Switch 2, because obviously these conversations are for Switch 2 based on the timing of it, based on the article it was included in, and I'm just, man, Nintendo! Oh, you're getting me excited already. And Switch 2 is not even here. You haven't even announced this damn thing. But now we're talking about games. And oh, you let me know what studios you think make sense for Nintendo to partner with from an indie perspective. And what games and IPs you think they should work on. Because whew, that's going to be the conversation, I think. The big brux of it for today's video. Now our last story deals with the legend Masahiro Sakurai. So he's been doing this. Uh, YouTube thing for a bit now, releasing game development videos and stuff like this, going over all the various aspects and trying to pass his lessons on to the masses, both in Japan and internationally with, you know, the YouTube channel that we all pay attention to. Well, he recently put up a community post that said, Happy New Year, and hey, uh, we're going to be wrapping up the channel this year. Now, this is likely because he has already yet started development on another Smash Bros. game. This has been widely speculated and reported on over the last few months. And as you get deeper and deeper into that development, you're going to have less and less time to make YouTube videos. He's already cut back on how many YouTube videos he's making and how much he's releasing. And I think he just reached that conclusion heading into 2024 that, hey, I need to step away from the channel and get back to focusing on making games full time. So 
I think that's really what this is about. He's just getting ready to work or already is working on that next Smash Bros. game. And that's really exciting, obviously, because if he's closing on the channel, he's clearly getting back to game development. He already talked in a prior video how he's still an active game developer, sort of suggesting he was already actively working on something. So I think this is just makes sense. And I don't know. I wouldn't say that he's never going to come back to the channel. Obviously, this could be it. And he could just be saying, hey, I said everything I had to say. There was a set amount of videos I wanted to make. I did it and I'm done and that's it. Or he makes this next game and then, you know, three, four years from now, whenever he's done doing the DLC and all that stuff, maybe he comes back to the YouTube channel. I don't know, but I do want to say thank you to Masahiro Sakurai for making these very informative videos, letting us know about your creative process and all along with ideas like the scroll wheel uh, buttons that you were trying to convince Nintendo to do. I do appreciate your transparency and your lessons, and I look forward to your next project, whether it's Smash or something else entirely. You know, I'm, I'm just really excited to have you uh, basically to play another Masahiro Sakurai game, whatever that ends up entailing. All right, folks, that's going to do it. I want to thank you guys so much for being here at Nintendo Prime. Hopefully you enjoyed that sweet little four pack of news. Oh, man, I've had a long day. Let's Get this video out the door, and I'll catch you guys tonight on our live stream at 8 p.m. Central Time. <laughs>